I enjoyed every bit of it, yeah. yeah. Except the first time they fired the guns. See, when we practiced in the armory, we used to use wooden uh, projectiles, uh, iron projectiles and wooden casings. And we'd slam that, that was a first shellman on a four inch 50. And we'd slam the four inch shell into the breech and the, uh, the gun captain would go bang. And then they'd open the breech and uh, go through the routine. And that's all I knew was this bang. Well, on my first cruise, when we went to the firing line, I said, coming on the firing line, ready, load. And I threw that shell in there, backed off, they threw another shell into my arms and they fired that gun and I froze right there. It was so loud. <laughs> I never heard anything so loud in my life. And the gun captain had to reach over and punch me in the shoulder to get me to load the second round. <laughs> that was my introduction to gunnery. You didn't have too much time to think. You, you really were too busy picking targets and directing your gun crews. And when you see a movie, a war movie from Hollywood, you see the whole action. You see it all. But when you're in actual combat, you don't see much of it. You just see what's in front of you. You, know, you see airplanes hit. You see them explode in the air. You see them hit the water. After the first time, you don't, you don't think much of it anymore. Now, when them torpedo planes are coming in or they're up off the water and they're coming right at you to drop a torpedo and you got all your guns firing at it, you know. Uh, but we, uh, we never got hit. Knocked down them planes soon enough, you know. You take Guadalcanal, we were there for three days, it's, you stood watch. I mean, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't leave your battle station. You, know, you stayed right there. Grab a catnap here and catnap there, but Cooks and the bakers bring you, bring your food to you. Bring mostly sandwiches, yeah. In a way, it, uh, it changed my outlook on life completely. Uh, I never took anything really for granted after that. Things can change so fast, you know. From minute to minute, to hour to hour. No sense. Uh, it's nice to plan and look ahead and what have you, but uh, don't uh, don't expect you know too much. So all I wanted when I got out was a steady job, steady income, and a good retirement. And I think I accomplished my goal.